I'm joined now by Congressman Steve Cohen, Democrat from Tennessee and a member of the House Judiciary Committee. Congressman, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Nice to be we with you. We are looking at images of you at that committee hearing today with what appears to be a bucket of fried chicken. And oh, there it is. You brought props, I see, with you here. What is the message you're trying to send? The message is that Bill Barr is a chicken. He was chicken to come to the House Judiciary Committee, face the members of the committee, and also face 30 minutes from counsel that would have been difficult for him to, to respond to because he stands on shaky ground. His legal premises are very, very obscure and rare and questionable, and his facts are false. He lies, he tries to defend the president at all costs, and he did not want to go again as he did before the Senate and be exposed as a liar and a fixer and a cover-up for Donald Trump. Congressman, as you know, my day job is over at the White House covering that for NBC News, and I was speaking with some officials there yesterday who Democrats are not treating the attorney general with the respect that they think he deserves. Do you think your chicken prop plays into that? I think the attorney general deserves no respect. John Mitchell didn't deserve any respect. People who abuse the Constitution, people who flaunt the law and take their positions to use it for politics and to trample on our Constitution and to help facilitate and over over forget about the Russian interference in our election and if people who call Bob Mueller basically not a career uh, prosecutor somebody who wouldn't be able to write a letter and calls his letter of seriousness snitty he does not deserve respect he has lowered the bar for lawyers and for the attorney general do you see any room for compromise to be able to get the attorney general in front of your committee perhaps maybe we have shorter questioning from staff counsel to do that behind closed doors do you see any room for compromise here well, I don't think there is. I mean, Chairman Nadler might see it. But the fact is, in other hearings over many years, counsel have asked questions. It happened when Sam D'Amato uh, was the uh, senator from New York and over the water, Whitewater hearings, and Richard Benvenisti and, 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 and Mike Chertoff both asked questions. Many, many times, counsel have asked questions. It's not an impeachment-type hearing. It's an investigative hearing. It's difficult in five minutes to get in your questions and to follow up and to be able to not be... Uh, 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 filibustered, which is what, what Barr did yesterday. 30 minutes, you can do that. It's not time for all the members of the, of the Democratic side or the Republican side to have 30 minutes to question. So the only fair way to do it is to keep it down to five minutes and to give the council one 30-minute shot. Any attorney general worth his salt should be able to, if he's telling the truth and if his facts are sound and if his law is just, he should be able to stand up to that type of questioning. Let me do a bit of a quick lightning round here, Congressman, on some positions of where you stand. Do you believe that the Attorney General should be held in contempt of Congress? No question about it. When do you think that that should happen? As soon as possible, and that would be next week. Should the Attorney General resign, in your view? He, he should never have accepted the position, but he, he lobbied for it. I think he should resign, but he won't. Do you believe that he should be impeached, as some of your Democratic colleagues have suggested? I think that's a reasonable uh, 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 a process that's out there. I think we should use it. Uh, he has lied to Congress. That's the ultimate lie that you can have up here, and the Attorney General should be impeached for that. The President stands by his Attorney General. He has made that clear in a series of tweets this morning and based on the reporting that we've shared already on this show. What makes you think that what you are calling for and what your Democratic colleagues are calling for will have any impact on the future of Bill Barr in this administration? Probably have none. I mean, Trump likes everybody, no matter what their moral uh, level barometer is, how low they may be, as long as they support him. Michael Cohen was a fine lawyer until he switched and went against Trump. Uh, same thing for N Napolitano on Fox. Uh, you just have to basically lick his boots. James Comey said it so well in the New York Times how so many people have sold their souls to be in with this president who is beneath the office of president and beneath the dignity really of what a human being should be in this world. You're supposed to be about truth, about helping people, having compassion and reaching out and caring about others. This man is a narcissist and he's a grifter. Congressman Steve Cohen, we'll leave it there. Thank you for running up to me in front of a camera for us on this show. Appreciate it.